Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order episode, episode, video. Today, we will actually, technically, this is the second part. I'll be finishing the interlude of Dantes. I am recording this before the big interlude, a half stamina thing, on, but it's okay because, um, I have plenty of stamina and I'm already done with the, the main event. And before we get into it, let me quickly change up my party. Okay, so yeah, th that's going to be today's video. It's going to be doing part two of the Dantes video. Now let's get into it. A dream where Nightingale was arguing with someone? Something like that. What a strange dream. I'm no expert in interpreting dreams. But if you would, shall I try assessing Chakaldea's da database? Even I can do... I can do that much. It's not like we're boosting to sh up Sheva or... Trismegidus? I forget how to pronounce that. It's Junpei's Persona and Persona 3, but I cannot remember it. Trimegidus. Trimegidus? Oh, are you performing a... <laughs> are you trying to perform... Honor well, now here's another one. Honoramensi? Leave it to me. Since ancient times, as far as back as the Age of Gods, humanity has tried to interpret the meaning of their dreams. The most famous of dreams interpreter of your modern time would be Sigmund Freud. But my dream interpretation is one of a kind, <laughs> I call it. Thrilling DC dream interpretation. Exciting AC dream interpretation. Huh? If you shout AC through your brains, it'll be a scanner's... <laughs> this is a, the weirdest... Wow, I can't believe that Edison is fucking referencing the movie Scanners. Kind of head explosion catastrophe. I cannot believe this. Whatever, it's fine, I'll keep going. Haha, <laughs> you know nothing, furball. AC is harmless to the body. It's even healthy if used in the right amount. It can do anything. For example, it can observe how neurons communicate in detail. Let us decipher what is inside Wilkie's head once and for all. For example, what is Master's favorite dish? And of course, what is her favorite AC? Uh, you mean things like what kind of clothes Master likes, and of course, what is her favorite DC? What kind of DC? You misspoke, Edison. You're making no sense. Look who's talking. They're fighting again. <laughs> They're fighting again. Those two are really going at it. It's such a childish fight, and if they've already come to blows... But to be honest, observing the brain is a bit much. Uh, sounds interesting. Senpai? I know it sounds interesting. But those two may really lay bare everything in your mind if that happens. I have a feeling it would do more harm than good. Things like your favorite food wouldn't be an issue, but other- <laughs> but certain other types of information that might be revealed. They would definitely cause problems. Well said, Mash, you're quite right. Things like this must be done in secret. It was my fault for bringing it up in a public place like this. Let's put the Limerin on Rissi in the dream reading. I learned directly from the Mahatnas on hold for today, yep. I'm sorry, and you- and you two bratty geniuses. Yes, ma'am. Don't start fighting as soon as you see each other. If you have that much energy to spare, go to the simulator. 20 consecutive Soul Eaters and Spriggans. Work on your extra energy that way. What? What did you say? Be polite. Yes, ma'am. I wonder why Tesla doesn't have... But I guess they did say gentlemen in line, man. I can't believe that I just saw that. They really went through 20 consecutive battles. Those two really are- <laughs> those two looked really determined. It was quite an inspiring sight to see. Electric Lion's proud infinite battle. I'm gonna go with my boy Edison. Infinite! It really was intense. Oh no. Falling asleep. Senpai, did you just stumble a bit? I must have gotten dizzy watching the infinite battle. Oh, Master Mash, what a wonderful morning. Good morning, Amakasu. Oh, and Jean the Arc Altar Santa Lily. I'm gonna see if I can remember her voice that I did so many years. Good morning. Um, if my name's too hard to say, you can call me Lily or Altar. 
even Jean. Well, then I will call you Jean Alter. Good morning once again. Yes, good morning. Hmm. Mentor, is something wrong? I can't do that voice from two years ago. It already, it, I'm trying to remember. It's something like restraining your voice. The smiles on your faces were simply dazzling, as warm as the sun itself rising in the sky. It's truly wonderful and fills my heart. You think so? Oh, did I just get praised? Yes, of course. By the way, Master, has anything new happened? I think I had a dream about Nightingale. A dream about someone arguing with Nightingale? I see, so that's what's going on. She too is perceptive in a way. No, never mind. Apologies, I have said too much. I assume Amakasu is constantly on the verge of being evil. No, nothing, I was only talking to myself. Hmm? Mentor, what are you talking about? I'm so confused. This is a rather complicated matter. Well, if I had to cut it down to a single phrase. It's just a dream. Sort that anyone like you who's been through so much this past year would have. Yeah. 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 You sunk down here again. Unbelievable. You really are a curious master. You could have had a peaceful dream, or laid in a dreamless slumber. But instead you come here to this awful place, I suggest you stop. Do you understand? This place is too dangerous. This darkness is indeed a part of your dream, but one normally would not see this. It's not a place where you should linger. The me here is quite different than the me you know. I may not always be so hospitable. Be gone, and forget this place. You don't look any different to me. Ha! <laughs> you make me laugh. Don't change a bit. No matter where you are, Master. No different, huh? Right. That's correct. It may be different from me, but we are in many ways the same person. I am the Avenger who exists during those seven days, and I am also the servant who fights along with you. Both of them are essentially me. But to be precise... The me here, in this place, is slightly different. I show my true abilities in the darkest depths. I am the one who looks into your soul, that shines brightly like the flames of hell. Tonight is the night to finish this. This is the cacophony of noise that has accumulated inside of you in consequence of your connection with so many heroic spirits. They are remnants of dreams, shadows, and illusions, dark things piled up deep within your soul. In a way, this is your trash heap. The regrets, resentments, and shattered wishes of the myriad enemies you've defeated? Yes, that's right. Everything from love to hatred. There is only one thing I can say to you now. Be gone. This is my job. It is not something you should see. Through your dreams, you have connected with the memories of many heroic spirits and accomplished much, but have you not? That is enough. There is no need for you to take responsibility for even the leftover emotion of corpses. But, just in case, Wookie, if you wish from the bottom of your heart, I can't leave you alone. Huh. <laughs> Fine, then do not fall behind. Mere droplets discarded and decayed, ones that could not even reach anger but merely sunk and festered. I shall consume them with my flames. My prey is the very carcasses of the phantoms you fought within the memories of the heroic spirits that your soul watches over. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, let their forms be made clear this time. And mine as well. Come, let us eradicate those that wander. Let's go, Master. We're going to take the thing beyond love and hatred. Alright, sounds good. Sounds like a party. What the fuck? Suddenly, Demon God Pillar, Trash Heap, um, 
Drama Lumius? Wasn't expecting that, to be honest. <laughs> Probably gonna one shot it. So just be sure. Damn it. <laughs> Almost should be done right here. That was easy. Damn, and I got a lot of QP from that too. I should have brought the Mona Lisa. We meet again, sir. Indeed. Master's room is up ahead. Do you have business there? It is already late and interrupting one's slumber is bad for their health. No, I... well, I suppose I'm just enjoy enjoying a midnight stroll. What about you, Berserker? The Mage King's threat is no more. Why are you so on edge? I am not on edge. I am not on edge. I am simply looking for a chance to disinfect your brain. Your mental state is injured. Your mental state is polluted, abnormal. It's twisted, injured, wounded. <laughs> you are... laughing? Of course I'm laughing. My mental state is far, far, far removed from any normal persons. I am the vengeful demon. I'm the one who ceased to be human ages ago. I am the Count of Monte Cristo. But I have no need for treatment from you. I am what I am. And I have been incar in incarnated as myself in this 21st century. As long as Master desires it, the Count of Monte Cristo shall exist. As long as she continues to fight, I shall lend my assistance. To put it in your terms, the injury to my mental state is one that cannot be cured. It is precisely the fact that my mind is beyond love and hatred, beyond madness, that certain things are possible for me. It may not happen often, but it does happen. You are not making sense. Please speak clearly and concisely. The treatment is unnecessary. Just leave me be, Mercedes. And do not come near me. Your straightforward, your straightforward ways are simple, they're similar to Wookiees. And it's quite blinding to me. Hmm? Go check on Master in the morning. Her mind and body may be somewhat exhausted. After all, she will have had a nightmare. All right. And that's the end of the Dantes interlude. Thank you everyone for watching both videos. If you did, I hope you liked If you liked it, I hope you left a like. Comment, tell me about what interludes are you doing or whatever of stuff ever. And we are still waiting for commas. So until next time, everyone, goodbye. And check out that profile of Dantes. May as well. I'm the Count of Monte Cristo. I know neither love nor compassion. Till I burn everything to cinders, I will remain an Avenger fueled by hatred and vengeance to make myself a brightly burning black flame of rage. My beloved Haiti does not exist in, the, in this world, and thus I will be a vengeful demon for eternity. Alright, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Later, everyone.